We got a massive drop of news today. The Spyro and Friends Grand Prix map, screenshots, and of course, gameplay of the Spyro circuit along with an analysis. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and boy oh boy do I have a special treat for all you beautiful people. We got gameplay of the new upcoming Spyro track, the Grand Prix roadmap for the Nitro Gauge, and of course, screenshots. We're going to be analyzing it all and breaking down what we see. So, without further ado, I'd like to present to you, the Spyro Circuit. Am I dead? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm dead. Uh, cause of death hype. This track is absolutely gorgeous and my eyes can barely handle its beauty. However, through the water that totally wasn't tears in my eyes, I was able to find a few awesome nuggets of information that you all may like. First up, the door from the artisan's home world that everyone has been trying to open opens up the start of the track, which I think is an amazing touch. As you race through the track, it works similarly to one of my favorite tracks of all time, Hyper Spaceway, where you go through portals and end up on different ends of the map. However, with this track, each part of the map is a different Spyro 1 level, from Artisan's Homeworld, to Dark Hollow, to High Caves, to Wizard Peak, and then of course coming right back to the original Artisan Homeworld. Throughout the stage, we also see stone dragons that Spyro has saved through the first game. The item boxes have been replaced with chests, as well as Wumpa Fruit being replaced with gems. But like the Spyro games, there are more than one type of gem. 
See how Spyro collects two green gems here? Well, each green gem in the original is valued at two. And if you look at how many gems Spyro has, it shows four. That means the color of the gem determines how many you will get. So it will actually be easier to get to 10 gems to get juiced up. Or is it gemmed up? Sparkled up? Whatever, you get my point. Like myself and many others predicted, Sparks is now the mask for all Spyro related characters. He also has his own little music track. Take a listen. Also here, Spyro has completely original voice lines and none are seemingly ripped from the Reignited Trilogy. This also applies to both Nasty and Hunter. Now there is a few more things I want to show you guys before we move on to the screenshots, the roadmap of the Nitro Gauge, and of course a sneak peek of what's coming to the Pit Stop. We can actually see here an alternative skin for Spyro, and that skin is actually Black Spyro. Except this time, some things have been changed. Unlike the cheat code Black Spyro, his eyes are now red, his horns and crest are a silvery gray as well. This can only mean one thing, that this is actually Dark Reignited Spyro, a play on Dark Spyro from the Skylander series, which that was inspired by what happened in the Legend of Spyro series. You can actually see a very small snippet of him passing Hunter, and you can see his horns have almost a chrome aesthetic to them. A a very cool look indeed for our little dragon. Another thing I'd like to note is that this track seemingly does not have blue fire capabilities, which means you can't precisely hit the top speed mechanic and you have to maintain your speed the old fashioned way. However, that is currently unconfirmed as there might be shortcuts that enable blue fire that was not shown off in the footage, but as of right now, with what we have seen, there seemingly is no blue fire potential. Now let's move on to the screenshots. In the first shot here, we got a good look at Spyro in his new cart, racing against the big, ugly, nasty Nork, also being in his new cart. The next image is actually a bit shocking to some. Here we see three new skins for Crunch, Coco, and Zam. Zam seems to look like one of the devil dogs, but what of Crunch and Coco? Well, these skins are references to when they were mind controlled from Mind Over Mutant, showing that Beanox has love for all games in the Crash universe. Except for, you know, Crash Boom Bang. No one likes Crash Boom Bang. Also, we got a reveal of the theme of the paint jobs that are coming to the store, and they seemingly reflect like the gems that Spyro collects. Very exciting if you ask me. Here, we got a shot of the three characters that will be joining the roster as they jump through the Magic Crafters platforms. The new thing that I noticed here is that Spyro's cart has this new decal on it that makes it look like it's kicking up golden rocks and dirt. In this shot, we have Nasty, who looks like he's not having a nice time being you know, on fire. But we get a nice wide shot of the artisan homeworld in the alchemy engine. The next image that we see is a very similar shot except with the stone dragons, which as we can see is Gunner from the Peacekeeper's homeworld. Now let's take a look at the roadmap, shall we? So right off the hop, we got the name of the track in a few snapshots. The name of the track is The Spyro Circuit. But if we mosey on over here, we can actually see the characters and skins that will be available in the pit stop. Currently, the confirmed skins are Devil Dog Zam, Viking Polar, Hunter, Wizard Komodo Joe, Nasty Nork, Gnome Real Velo, Goblin Small Norm, and Orc Big Norm. However, I do want to correct one of those skins. There we go, perfect. Now if you wanted to see more skins, do not worry as these are likely not the final skins on the roster. When the Back in Time Grand Prix came out, along with the Nitro Tour, they had left out a few skins. For example, for the Back in Time Grand Prix, they left out Gladiator Tiny, Wooden Doll Entrance, and Jurassic Crunk. So there is still hope for my Sergeant Penta skin. Moving on down, we see the cart that will be available for sale, the Spyromobile, along with Elemental Wheels. To be honest, these wheels are seemingly almost inspired by the Legend of Spyro franchise to me. Whether that's true or not is to be determined. We also got an idea of some of the stickers and paint jobs, which we see the gem paint job that we saw in the earlier screenshot. Down here, we got a sneak peek at 
at the championship decal, where we got what seems to be a mixture of fire and Spyro's crest tracing the outer rim of the car, along with, you know, Spyro himself. Now, let's take a look at what you can earn from the Nitro Gauge. So in the bronze tier, we have Nasty's Cart, a gem sticker, a paint job, a crystal dragon sticker, Nasty's tires, and then our purple boy himself. Then when we move on to the silver tier, we got a cart decal, an unimpressed sheep sticker, another paint job, a cart decal, a spark sticker, and then the mind-controlled Coco. After that, we got the Spyro Trike, tires, two cart decals, a Spyro sticker, and then mind-controlled Crunch. This was a lot in a video. However, I am left with a few questions and concerns. I am very shocked that there is no legendary Spyro skin that can be earned on the Nitro Gauge, especially at the end. So I am wondering, is there even a legendary skin for Spyro? Also, I had mentioned over and over again that the data mine that we saw months ago might only be a temporary list, and this is the second time that this has happened because the Sorceress and Ripto were in the original data mine, but they are nowhere to be seen. However, both of their voice actors have been credited, so I am very confused in that aspect. I hope we can at least get to see Ripto in the future. Maybe there'll be another Spyro Grand Prix. Who knows? Overall though, I cannot wait to play this Grand Prix. I'll be streaming it live as soon as I can, and I cannot wait to race as our beautiful purple boy. By the way, a huge shout out to my Patreons and sponsors on the channel. I appreciate your support and letting me be able to do this full time as I got a family to feed. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon is in the description below, and be sure to subscribe for more nostalgic content. And while you're at it, why not check out another video I recently made? Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see See you guys next time.